everyone. I'm sure you're wondering, how do you wash a cat? Well, Opie and I will show you just how it's done. The first thing you do is you get in the shower by yourself and make sure that the temperature is at the most comfortable setting. Cats usually like the water a little bit hotter than we do, but not too hot. So I'm going to go in the shower and put the water on and wait until it's the right temperature. The best thing to do is get one of these um, types of shower heads that are on the hose because um, the cat doesn't like the water to fall on them from a long distance. This way you can get up real close to the cat. And I recommend that you get a cat shampoo such as what I have right here. I can see that Obi is excited and ready to have his sh shower very soon. I'm testing it on my wrist because that's the most sensitive spot and I want to be sure that it's not too hot. I think it's almost ready. So what I'm going to do is I put the shower oh, a little colder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shower head down and I'm going to get my volunteer right over here, Obi. The reason I started um, the reason I started showering Opie is because one of my sons is allergic to cats and wanted a cat very much. So, so Opie, since he was a baby, has taken his shower. Right, sweetheart? You ready for your shower? Oh, Opie loves showers. He's going to look, whoops, this is the first time I'm doing it with the shower door open. <laughs> and you see Opie's little butt. Okay, oh, Opie, remember, you're getting to be a handsome boy. Everybody loves to be a handsome boy, right? Nobody likes to be bad looking. Everybody has to have a shower, including Opie. So you see how I should put the shower right up against the cap? Now, Opie surely needs his shampoo. Where would he be without shampoo? I rub it into him. I try not to put it on his head. I don't want to get anything in his ears, so I stay clear of the ears. I just a little bit go like this, and I do underneath. I put a little shampoo right over here so I get his belly done. Shampoo. Oh, okay. you love shampoo, right? You're making me the handsomest boy on earth. All the girls are going to go wild over you. You see this? Now I'm going to, see how I, I do his head? I just put like a little water in my hands and I do this. I'm going to make it a little less hot. I think it's there. Okay. When I tell Opie how handsome he's going to be, I think he understands. I think he, he really is excited about it. Right, sweetheart? Very excited? Oops, let me do your tushy. Right over there. That's right. That's the grimy spot. Okay. Okay, you're almost done, sweetheart. Oh, that feels good. Right? Opie loves it. Opie loves it. Now, when you all finish showering your cat, remember, oh, it's going to be very wet. So what you do is you prepare a towel right by the shower door. See, such as I have. A nice, warm, cozy towel. And I wrap him up. There we go. Oh boy, that was delightful. Everybody loves a shower, right, Obi? <laughs> so, so the next thing you do, take a seat wherever that may be, and he's just saying thank you. And you just, you just rub him up like this, make him nice and dry, don't let him go outside in the cold when his coat is wet, that's very important to know. You have to wait at least a day before he goes outside if it's cold out. So, so I, after this I give Opie a treat, and that, makes him feel very happy and his day is complete. Right, Opie? Say goodbye.